Hello there fellow captains and welcome back to another Dreadnought video. And today we're going to be playing in the... <laughs> it's a little whopper of a ship. She is definitely uh, small but packs one hell of a punch. And that will be the tier 3 Jupiter Arms tactical cruiser. The Palos. Oh Palos, so oh, so sexy. This is a damn fine little ship. Now I have mentioned before that I do like the Jupiter Arms tacticals. Uh... Um, over on a couple of vector tacticals. Um, they're effective at what they're designed for. But this little guy, wait until we get into this game and I'll show you what I mean. I mean, apart from looking absolutely gorgeous, she's one hell of a little ship and reminds me kind of, um, reminds me of a, I don't know, a smaller Halo ship. I mean, you've already got your frigates and corvettes and smaller type ships in Halo, but, uh, the Palos is a very nice little design. I mean, there's no real wasted space in this ship at all. Everything's where it needs to be. And it was designed to be a beast. A small, maneuverable, agile little beast. Uh, let's get rid of these faders there. There we go. <laughs> all, all for no reason whatsoever. Just wanted to use my beams. And that's what this thing is very effective at. Shooting or holding down the left mouse button and channeling a beam. Well, most of the time, let's uh, not get fired up by Candyman there. But let's try and juke him into firing a few shots off. Come on. He's firing at us. He's not firing at anybody on our team. Oh, and direct hit on us. But only one landed. We just took the upper hand. There we go. Right, that's enough of that. Right, so what I'm using here on my current loadout is beam amplifier, flechettes, half battery, blast pulse, and energy generator. All of these are tier 3, so I have upgraded them. And my secondary is also the Tesla beams, which are used for close quarters. Right, so let's see. Now, we did see those two artillery cruisers a while back. Let's see if we can go and say hello to those two guys. Right, let's see. Get beam amplifier going. There we go. Look at the burning damage. Burning low. That's an album song, right? One down. Time to go for his buddy. Let's hit the aisle. Oh, there we go. Blast Pulse is golden. And we have a little Corvette. Now, you know what scares Corvettes? This thing. The line of Jupiter Arms tacticals are designed to take out these little sneaky gits. Because, you know, Corvettes are fast. Corvettes are very fast. But so is this little guy. Take out old Melville here and his destroyer. He's in a really bad spot there, being swarmed by... Our team. Oh, but there's the bulk of the enemy team. There's Candyman again and his uh, artillery cruiser. Right, we have energy generator and flechettes off cooldown. Right, there we go. Energy generator. Power in the weapons. Burn. Burn. Target down. Okay, we have a tactical and a corvette. Uh, we'll do a little bit of damage, but the corvette's our main target. Blast pulse away. Target has taken 75%. Of his whole strength and damage from that blast pulse. Now let's get our tactical down. We've got a little bit of assistance there from Maria. Or Moria. Moria. However you pronounce that. M-O-R-R-I-A. Yeah, I would say Moria. But uh, whatever. Right. Top of the board. Let's continue onwards. But we do need to regen some energy. As well as some of our whole strength. There's old Yolanda in a Corvette. Coming straight for us. Yeah let's deploy the flechettes. We won't even need them. But those flechettes are pretty damn fast for missiles. I mean, look at me. I'm looking to try and figure out what, where are those missiles. Um, they already flew right past the target. I mean, they were too slow to hit the target. But at the same time, they were pretty damn fast. And that's flechettes for you. Blast Pulse will end that fella. Right. Oh, I saw an artillery cruiser. Just cresting over that ridge there. Let's go and say, oh, dear God. That's a destroyer. That's another destroyer. That's a dreadnought. And that's a tactical. Looks like we've run into half the enemy team. Let's get down into this little bit of cover. In fact, no, let's turn around and get out of here. This ain't going well, but we'll, let's see if we can take out that artillery cruiser. I don't think we're going to be able to. Nope, we've hit some structure. We've hit terrain, Connor. Wake up, wake up. Reverse. No. God damn it. God damn it. Now, I was thinking to myself, well, that happened. Hold on, can I just lower myself? Well, not lower myself. That's a bad terminology or a bad way to say it. Can I just decrease my altitude and fly into that? I could have, I'm too late at the moment, but I could have done that. 
I just wasn't paying attention. And that nuke was right on target. Right, let's fly in and see if we can take down a dreadnought. So one thing I would like to mention is that, of course, this little tactical is Jupiter Arms. And as a Jupiter Arms tactical, it is a tactical that is designed to not only heal. In fact, I'm not even sure if it can heal with its main beams. I, I'm so confused. But uh, this thing is meant to be doing uh, dealing damage, as you can see. I've got power into the weapons there, so we are doing increased damage. Enemy Dreadnought. I didn't even get an assist for that. I should have. I did quite a bit of damage. My beam was held over the target for quite a while there. But again, yes, uh, the Jupiter Arms lines of tacticals are just meant to, to deal damage. Hunter Killers is what you could call them. Hunters and Killers of Corvettes, like we're about to do now. Look at that. Look at the damage. And we had the Tesla beam turrets there. Or the Tesla turrets, even. They're pretty nice in close quarters. But as good as this little tactical is, and it's tier 4 and tier 5 counterpart also, I don't really like beam turrets in this game. I mean, they're a cool idea, but they're just not designed well enough. Or, uh, you'll see what I mean. But that was a fast-ass game. I wasn't expecting it to be as fast as it was, but it was a win. And, top of the board. Not a bad little game. The Palos is growing on me even more. And I already like it quite a bit. So here we are into the second game. Maybe this one's going to end as quickly as the first. Hold on, no, I believe this game is a conquest game. Yeah, a conquest game. And they're never fast. I mean, this one, in retrospect, wasn't the longest game of conquest I've ever had. But it was a... Uh, quite fast also for a game of conquest so let's throw power into the engines there and get over to air capture that point hold it down and try and divert enemy corvettes attention to ourselves before we burn them down but yeah something i was saying about beams a moment ago i've noticed i've noticed this before but because i don't play tacticals all that often it's never really been something that's on my mind all that much but whenever you're holding the beam over an enemy target, and it's really difficult to lead the target in a, a tactical, because the beam will kind of sputter in and sputter out and won't have a, a constant connection on the enemy target, or even ally, depending on how far away your ally is when you're trying to heal them up. But you'll notice it more in this game than you did in the last, because there's going to be a bit more mid-range combat in this. Instead of just a lot of close quarters. There will be close quarters fights. But more mid tier. Or not mid tier. Mid range uh, fighting. Although this is a mid tier little ship. Tier 3. Oh hello. Legionnaire. I, I remember you. You've killed me many a time. And I don't like that. Could have ended him with a blast pulse. But we'll keep it in reserves. Because I saw a corvette. Yep. Corvette is escorting their destroyer. You can see there. On E2. On the map there. Right. Just need to get our hull strength up a little bit, but we should be able to deal some damage. Oh, hello, Tier Carter. Blast Pulse out. Took down over half of his HP. And that's another enemy Corvette down. So if you are playing Dreadnought and you're annoyed by Corvettes a lot, but you want to be able to kill them as much as they are killing you, go with this little beast. It begins at Tier 3, I believe, and goes up to Tier 5, obviously. But it's worth the investment. It really is a lot of fun. I mean, there's... Quite a few different module loadouts you, you can go with that are quite fun in this. This is just my favourite that I've been using since... When was it? Closed beta? Closed alpha? Something like that? Right, where's the enemy? They're all situated over in B for the most part. So that ain't good. Oh, hello. Oh, nope, we got Corvettes. There's Tear again. Come on. See what I mean? Look where my cursor is compared to the beam. I mean, the target's dead. Doesn't really matter, but still, it's a little bit wonky. It sputters a bit too much. It's like when you... Uh, I was going to use a, a term there, or a, an example, but I'll, I'll not. YouTube's getting a lot more strict on their content creators. So that's why you guys should go below and donate to my PayPal. 
shameless self-promotion or you can just do it through youtube or whatever i don't know how youtube works honestly of all the um what are they called super chats i've gotten i don't even know where they're going they could be into a black void for all night i know the only place i'm getting reliable donations to is paypal and i got wrecked god damn it so the corvette destroyed the corvette hunter <laughs> we're going to get him back aren't we <laughs> oh yes we are yeah. Now, I was, what I was doing here was looking for my allies because there were two allied corvettes or a single allied corvette or two allies at one point, I believe, that were over in that general area and they just went right past the enemy team and left me on my own. If they were there, we could have won that fight but because they were more um, interested in going up to the spawn point and getting a kill, in fact, I'm not even sure if they got the kill. No, look, yeah, top right, two allied corvettes. I have no idea what the fact they were doing. Not a freaking clue. And instead of helping their teammates and holding that line so the ally or the enemies couldn't push through to uh, capture air which they inevitably ended up doing as now they control air they decided just to fart about and let me die but we're, it doesn't matter anyway i'm going to get more kills that'll tide me over and lessen my rage <laughs> okay let's go and take a uh, uh, what's what, what's that point called again? Uh, uh, oh yeah, eh. Uh. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, that's a nuke. Minimal damage taken, but we're gonna put out one hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, die. That's what you deserve. What is that ally Corvette doing? Is that controlled by an AI? Not him. Mori is fine. It's the other allied one that's just coming towards me at the moment. Bit of a derpster, that guy. Probably, probably a bot. We'll soon find out. Hopefully, it'll show itself to us, and then we can have a little gander at what it is or what the name is. I mean, I don't want to ridicule anybody or start a witch hunt. Obviously not, because you know people are learning. This is only tier three. I mean, I expect different at tier five, but if it's a bot and if it's something that's just learning, well. Stick with your allies, stick with your teammates. If you want to ambush enemies and that type of thing in your Corvette, you're not doing a good job because you're that whatever that was was moving around the map very slowly. And I'm, I'm going to assume it's a bot. I don't know. But anyway, we've lost A again because our teammates, our Corvettes mainly, aren't really doing their job. So we're going to head straight in and take out Tear. Oh no, he's going for the... He's going to run a bit. <laughs> so we're going to go and get him. Oh! Now this ain't no normal tactical. This thing is fast. Almost on par with the Corvettes. It's hunting. Ah, I got there just before the finish. So we actually got the final blue. And payback, which is good. Nothing better than seeing payback after taking out an enemy Corvette. So let's go and close in on A here. We do have some allied assistance, but there's Zenithal in his Oberon artillery cruiser. Let's burn him down with our beam. See what I mean? The beam just keeps cutting out. It's really annoying. And by the way, this is the beam up the, the beam turrets are your main armament. They're meant to be used for mid to long range. I wouldn't say long range because they're not really effective, but you know what I mean? Min, mid range, they're the only thing you have. Your Teslas aren't really gonna do much. At that distance so they're all you're left with and the beam just cuts out and sputters it just doesn't lead the target very well there needs to be a better system for that i mean when they work they work absolutely amazingly but it's when they do work all right okay so we've taken air i mean we're we've got 700 points on them I don't believe they're going to come back from this. I mean, they could, actually. They could. It's a long shot, but they could. Alright, let's see. What have they got over there? Uh, a couple of tacticals I can see. I can only see one tactical now. Oh, a Corvette's beaming straight for our side. Another one's burning right towards us. And that's in... What's that? Is in, uh, that's a Dreadnought there. On the left. And Tears coming back in his little... Corvette, let's burn them down, boys. Oh, yes. Come on, burn them. Burn them. Beam amplifier, go. 
power in the shields. There we go. Blast pulse. Significant damage dealt. Come on, finish him. Come on, Beamly. Come on. God damn it. Switch to Tesla's. Come on. There we go. Tesla's did the job. Arguably, I should have been on Tesla's a lot sooner. But I was too panicked to think straight there. I'm not a MLG pro at this game. As you all know. I just enjoy playing the game. Ooh. It's the first time I've actually noticed that there's somewhat of a city or a residential area below me in this map. I haven't been over here all that often. I mean, there was no real need to be over here before Conquest. Right, they're laying into that enemy dreadnought. And that's the actual finishing kill of the game. So, that was quite fun. Let's see where we ended up. Hopefully somewhere decent. I can't remember where I came in this game. Audio seems to be cutting out. Oh, top again! Get in! Get in! The guy on the left seems to be wearing like a, a McDonald's fast food restaurant hat. But yes, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links below. One of which is my Discord. Join the Discord. We can set up games and stuff. And don't forget to donate if you want to. The PayPal, the PayPal link is the advised link. But anyway... Just like always, enjoy whatever it is you're playing, and I, of course, will see you next time. Bone Journal. Good day, loyal citizens of the Empire. Today, the Emperor has employed a system that will allow you to support the latest Imperial endeavors. Click the link below to support a safer and brighter future for every citizen of the Empire.